Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Pinecone serverless. Now, serverless is a complete redesign of the Pinecone vector database, and it comes with much more flexibility, scalability, and a huge reduction in costs for the vast majority of use cases on Pinecone. So just to point out the cost savings of this, I want to take a look at the pricing calculator. So if I look at a very typical use case, right? So I'm, I'm on the Pinecone website and I come down to, you know, they, they explain everything here. Uh, the pricing is like completely different. So you're not paying for like a, a pod now, obviously you're on serverless. So there is no longer any such thing as pods, but instead you're paying based on the amount that you're storing and the amount that you're querying. So you have a separation between storage and queries, which means you can store a ton of stuff and you can pay very little because that's now on storage optimized hardware rather than compute optimized hardware. So if we come down here, we'll go to you know the rag use case. It's probably the most, most common. Zoom in a little bit. And yeah, if I go, okay, order 002 embeddings, like 5 million records is a lot for, for most RAG use cases. Honestly, I, I think you're probably gonna be using less. But any, anyway, let's just leave 5 million for now. Uh, queries per month. So uh, that's quite a lot, 260,000 queries a month. Again, it depends on your use case. But I, you know, I think most of the things that I have built at least I'm gonna go nowhere near that. And then writes per month. So, you know, how many new vectors, right? So, so how many new vectors am I going to write to the database every month? Let's say 100,000, okay? Uh, metadata size is pretty big. It depends on how you're, how you're uh, structuring everything. And then namespaces, again, that's gonna depend. If you have a lot of different uh, users, for example, if it's a user-facing app, you will probably have quite a lot of namespaces, but it, it depends, All right? So with that, it's twenty-one dollars a month for this in the pod-based pinecone. You'd be hitting like, or you'd be hitting seventy dollars a month. Now, this is a large number for the majority of use cases. You're probably going to be looking at like, I don't know, like five hundred thousand, maybe, maybe a million. You know, it, it it varies a lot, right? Depending on your use case. Now, in the past, for five hundred thousand vectors on the pod-based pinecone you just have to pay for a pod like p1 or s1 and that's going to cost 70 dollars just every month right <laughs> that's how much you're paying now okay like six dollars right that that's that's an insane uh, cost saving if you know if you're doing less queries per month which is fairly likely for a lot of users i think it goes even lower now if we decrease the number of names so let's say worst case scenario you just have one namespace it goes up a little bit but you know it's so ten dollars compared to the seventy dollars that we would have had before which is it's pretty good now they're the cost savings let's take a look at how we'd actually use new pinecone serverless via the python client so i'm going to come over to the examples of pinecone and we, i'm just going to do we can do semantic search for now Okay, so semantic search, uh, I will open this in Colab and I'll come to here. Now, first thing I'm gonna need to do is just install everything. The installs are gonna be slightly different uh, by the time you see this, hopefully. So you should see 300 for the Pinecone client and 0 0.6 rather than uh, this. So this here for Pinecone datasets. So I'm installing those and then we're gonna come down here and just download a data set. Now, the reason that we're using this data set and Python data sets is because we already have the vectors uh, created for us. So we don't need to go and you know, uh, spend time creating the, the embeddings. So it's a lot quicker. And then once that is downloaded, I'm gonna print out length. So I've just taken a slice of the data set, like uh, 80,000 records there and yeah, it's uh, super quick. Okay, and then we'll come down to here. We're going to decide whether we want to use serverless or the pod based um, approach. So for the, you know, we can do both. Okay, so with the new Python client, it supports both. 
if you want to use pod you set that to false otherwise we go with true i'm also going to use true and then we have our api keys environment variables uh, so for serverless we don't need the environment anymore so we can just remove that uh, instead that you know there's the region uh, which is basically the same thing uh, but it just doesn't include the the cloud name uh, which we have here instead so i'm going to go over to my uh, pinecone project here i'm going to go to api keys and i'm going to take an api key okay so this does need to be a serverless project right now with serverless there is not a free tier as we have with the the pod based architecture in pinecone instead there is currently a like a 100 dollars that you can claim and just use serverless with that and obviously if you're using that it's going to last you a pretty long time given the prices i just showed you uh, but there is a pinecone serverless coming uh, like a free tier so th that is coming it's just not quite there yet now we are going to come down to here i'm going to put in my api key here and then i'm going to come over to here so i'm not using the the pod spec here i'm using the serverless spec so this is a new uh, object we have that just defines your basically the specification of your the configuration of your index i am using serverless of course so i'm using this one and we specified cloud and the region right now the this is the only one that is currently supported as far as i'm aware so you will want to use the same but of course more are coming also new you know we're gonna have gcp and azure pretty soon as well cool so run that let's create an index slightly different again here so rather than just listing the indexes we need to go through because when we list an index we get a lot more information than we used to with the old client so we just need to do this uh, to return the uh, the indexes or the index names if you do have indexes you can also use this i believe okay so after we've done that we if i run this let me run it i'm going to check if the index already exists if it doesn't i'm going to create one the uh, spec here is the serverless spec that you saw before and then we'd come down to here and we would we're just gonna have a look okay is the index being created uh once it has been we're gonna describe it i i literally just created mine um so this now shows as being having some vectors in there uh, you should see zero if this is your first time running through the notebook then what i'm going to do is run this so i'm going to just upset all of my vectors that will take a moment to run now while that is running let's have a look at let's have a look at how much money would be saving on this compared to the pod based approach so we have what is it like eighty thousand vectors i think so we can do eighty thousand vectors Uh, let's say I'm going to get, <laughs> be optimistic and say I'm going to get 100,000 queries a month, which is, I don't think I will. And let's say I'm going to write another 20,000 ve uh, 20, vectors a month. I'm going to have one namespace on this, so it's worst case scenario. And my vector dimensionality is actually, I think it's 384. Yeah, 384. So that's going to cost me a grand total of uh, $3.69 a month, which is not too bad. And even better when you consider we have like a $100 uh, credit. <laughs> so that's not bad. Now I'll fast forward to when our upload is complete. Okay, so that has finished and we can go ahead and just make a query. Okay, let's see what we get. We should get basically the same results as what, we, what we've had before with the, the pod-based approach. So we can say, which city is the highest population in the world? We're just doing a semantic search here. So we're gonna just see the results that we get. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, it says, I think I format it a little nicer here. Uh, yeah, what was, what was the largest city, biggest city, so on and so on. Okay, so these are Quora questions that we're, we're searching across here. And then I can, 
modify the, the language a bit. I can say which metrop metropolis is the highest number of people and just see what it says. And yeah, again, we get what is the biggest city uh, and then what is the world's largest city. So yeah, semantic search, uh, everything checks out there. So, I mean, that all looks good. Once you're finished with that, we just want to save resources and just delete that index. So we do that and we're now done. So that's it's a very fast introduction to Pycon serverless. It's very exciting. It's going to save people a ton of money. It is going to make vector search a lot more scalable, accessible, and we're going to see a lot of really cool performance upgrades. So for now, I'm going to leave it there. I hope all of this has been interesting and useful. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next one.